<laughs> Picking back up again, my memory card. I, it can go for hours, but it stops every half hour. I don't know why. My torso was opened again to remove an 8 inch malignant cancer stem that had burst in my colon. I survived the colon cancer with surgery and chemotherapy, but subsequent tests revealed that cancer had spread to my lungs and it was too advanced to treat. They told me I had a month to live. And I haven't seen a doctor since. Crushed with disease. And that's when the planes hit New York 22 years ago. Now I ain't seen a doctor since. Except for going for a checkup recently. God wanted me to. Not to really see a doctor. I wasn't sick or anything. To get x-rays. And guess what? When they told me I was going to die of lung cancer, they showed me pictures. Both lungs filled with these white spots they said was cancer. Not one thing there. The God of Israel removed it. And I never really felt the effects of it. Now I did colon cancer. That was brutal what I went through. But uh, lung cancer? Never felt anything. Became a triathlete. You know, running, swimming, biking for eight hours. And he just said, basically, I put it there for the uh, x-rays. Then I took it away. That's the God of Israel. Thanks it, wills it, and it is. <laughs> and it is the fulfillment of Isaiah 53, verse 10. And I fulfill age and this and that. Sure, there's things to come. You gotta make the many uh, righteous. <laughs> I've already got the covenant in hand. That's gonna take care of that. I gotta keep them righteous. It's more what it's about. I don't have an abode. I haven't received uh, the many and a portion. But I match everything else. Ezekiel does to a large part. I was told I would soon die. This is God writing. This is what he told me to type. A stage four diagnosis. I have not seen a doctor for lung cancer from that day forward. It was when the terrorists hit New York. The book says 19 years. It's 22 years now ago, and I was 44 years old. I would be very thin, about 145 pounds. Could not eat because of the colon cancer, and almost six feet tall. I'm a lot more than 145 pounds right now. I got I got to lose some weight. The skin of my chest would be open from a six-inch circular cut to remove skin cancer when I was 43. That's the cancer when it says a man is suffering, familiar with disease. That's what made me familiar with it. It really wasn't life-threatening. I mean, I guess it could have been. My left hand would be broken from a fall on a tennis court when I was 28 and broken again walking on stones in a creek when I was 55, which God had everything to do with. I got to witness it. My ankles would be bruised and swollen from severe sprains while playing basketball and running at various ages. My chin would be lacerated from striking a wall at the end of a foot race when I was 21 in college. And I would be covered with the childhood diseases of measles and mumps. That is how a man could be, could fit the description of the Lord's righteous servant in Isaiah 52, 14, you know, marred beyond human appearance. And just so, startle many nations. Kings shall be silenced because of him, for they shall see what has not been told them. Shall behold what they never have heard. And that would be me. 
Nobody is expecting what's happening right now. Much less heard about some Gentile from Texas and an atheist with God with new teachings of the Hebrew Bible who's bringing the wrath to Christianity and a reckoning on the rabbis and plans on building a temple so God can be with his people again. They shall rest on their soil secure and not be the taunts of nations. That's your Messianic era, Jewish people. Get used to it. I can't help it. Your rabbis don't teach that. I can't believe. I, I, it's, it, they just make things up. They're taking things from antiquity and Rambam and this and that and continue it. They don't use this very much. They just want to rely on other people. Oh, they're good. They're intelligent men. I don't doubt that. Toby loves to read and he can regurgitate it right and left. But he can't put two or three or four or five books together and say, oh, I see the answer. No, he can't. He's not even close to it. The murder of the Holocaust or the righteous servant and or Hitler is. I still can't tell because he says Hitler got a portion. That's the righteous servant. Yeah, his portion was uh, lamps with the skins of Jews. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't have any answer for that. Okay, I, I've got about a full page to go. I'm going to take a break. My throat's getting raspy. Uh, to, to complete, chapter 52, verse 15. And then, oh, looky me. And it's already out. I've already done this before. I've done it two times now, and i got to do it again. Because God tells me to. It's Isaiah 53 with Rashi's commentary. <laughs> which by itself took 11 part, uh, yeah, part 11, chapter 21. But um, I'll get to it. I, I've been up all night posting and this and that, reposting. And, but these, if you look for the ones I'm doing now, uh, if you're watching this particular video, these are all brand new. They haven't been reposted. The lighting's better. Uh, the words and my lips go to go together perfectly. You can see me. The old videos you couldn't. And uh, God knew that. And he had some purpose in it. I, I was speculating that uh, if Singer or Skoback Juice for Judaism, Kravitz, uh, heard I was making this noise out of here, that they might come look and see those old videos that are just terrible. I mean, they're just worn down to nothing. And say, well, that can't be him. Because if God's with him, they, his videos wouldn't look like this. And of course, they'd be wrong. Which, <laughs> God laughs about what, it must be true. God's laughing about it. Right. Because he he likes to give people the business. You know, they think they know everything, and here's God. And God says, <laughs> He's going to come out on top, is what He just told me. Just say it, the Lord. Biblical times, one more day. Day of the Lord. Oh, I'm sorry, your rabbis don't teach you. But. It's here. You better get used to it because I have a long life. 